Before you dive into the questions for the setup, make sure to watch the setup video in which we created our initial diagram using the rules and in which we made deductions from those rules. This question asks, the years in which each of the monuments were begun can be completely determined if which one of the following is discovered to be true. So this question is essentially asking us for the choice that provides information that would allow us to know where every monument goes. Essentially, our diagram would be filled out completely. And usually these question types are best tackled by diving right in with our pencils to test each choice. The wrong choices won't let us get to that finish line. So as soon as a choice leads to a dead end, we can move on to testing the next one. Let's try A. F was begun in 603. In this case, we do know that G is in 601 and L is in 602 because G is before L and L is before F. But we don't know which of the other monument is in 601 with G. It could be M or S, so we can move on. B, what if G was begun in 602? Well, we would know that M and S are the monuments in 601, and then that L has to be in 603, since it can't be four or five, but we don't know what order F and H are in. So almost not quite. C, H was begun in 605. Well, we can't deduce anything for certain from here. Either F or S could be in 604, for example. So there are just too many question marks here. D, M was begun in 602. We do know that GS are in 601 if M's in 602, and then we can deduce that L is in 603, but we don't know what order F and H are in, just like with choice B. That leaves choice E, which says that S was begun in 604. Well, if S is in 604, then H has to be in 605. That would leave the GLF chain to be one, two, and three, and then only M is left to be with G in one. So E allows us to place each of the elements. Don't be afraid to use your pencil to your advantage on test day, because it's gonna be faster on question types such as these, in which it would be pretty difficult to work it all out in your head. So the answer here is E.